Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a fun comparison video between Ninjaro 21 on the left-hand side versus Zorin OS uh, version 16 on the right-hand side. Now these are actually both uh, running on the XFCE desktop environment. I'm really enjoying the implementation that Zorin Zorin OS has gone with. I'll show you that in a moment. But a little bit of a background story. Ninjaro is based off Arc Linux, whereas uh, Zorin OS is based off the illustrious Ubuntu uh, long-term service release, in fact. Now, let's start off with Manjaro. So it's uh, got its nice uh, dark uh, color scheme there with the, 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 the color tones and accents pretty much synonymous with the Manjaro, so gray and black and green. And you've got all your categorization of apps and things. You can even search for apps as well. Similar story on the Zorin OS side. Main difference being is that Zorin OS is just really crisp and clean. And not to say Manjaro isn't, but this one is... Uh, well, they say it's actually designed for newcomers to Linux from Windows. So this might be the, the one that you'll use, or for Mac for that matter there. So you can see you've still got your categorizations of apps. You can search for an application, your browsers, that sort of thing. Let's have a look at the context menus. These actually look pretty similar. In fact, you do have a couple of extra options, it seems, there with uh, Manjaro. But uh, yeah, much of a muchness there. You've got your nice rounded corners there as well. Uh, next up, uh, let's see, let's uh, just quickly go to the file manager, which I accidentally did open here before. And yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. So you've got your, your curved edges, your, uh, your customized icon sets, your pictures, your images, just everything about it. It just looks plush. I just want to say plush or something like that there. Although, of course, on the Manjaro side, I've got a nice ebony versus ivory uh, uh, color scheme there, which is really nice to see there too. Let's see though, with the context menu, you just right click and open up a terminal. I happen to like the little pictures there because your mind works faster to find what you're looking for than kind of reading everything, so that's nice to see. Uh, next up is, uh, let's see, we'll have a look at the back end and see what that's all about. So we're running on the 5.15 kernel for, for Manjaro, whereas we are running on the 5.13 kernel for uh, Zorin OS. Now, uh, a little bit newer for Manjaro. This is going to change soon for uh, Zorin OS because Ubuntu has just got a new long-term service release. I expect this to pop up to 5.15 any day now with an update. It'll probably be called Zorin OS 17 light as opposed to 16 there. Uh, last but not least, and take these figures with a bit of a grain of salt, but uh, we have uh, the the RAM usage on boot up. So 566 megabytes of RAM uh, usage on boot up uh, for Manjaro. And uh, oh, I'll punch up the graphics there for you guys just a tad. And 587 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Zorin OS Lite, which is pretty good because uh, the way that they've got these beautiful customizations, they've just uh, made it just look lovely. I just can't uh, tell you how much I'm enjoying Zorin OS. The only thing I'd probably prefer is if we could make this a little bit darker in fact let's uh, waste some time but that's the end of the video but let's see we can go transparent we can do a few things uh, actually no that's the separators <laughs> no yeah the only thing is I do like a darker screen or, or darker um, windows basically it's easier on the eyes but otherwise beautiful operating system right here as our OS so thanks for watching guys please leave a comment subscribe hit that like button and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one cheers